kids miss kulkarni here in this video we will continue with thermodynamics but our main focus will be on exothermic and endothermic reactions so what exactly are those reactions and how are they related to a term called as enthalpy but before that let's find out what enthalpy is enthalpy is amount of heat energy which is lost or gained by a system during the process now this enthalpy is represented as delta h delta stands for change and h is heat it can be also represented by letter q let's move on to exothermic now what is an exothermic reaction it is a reaction in which heat is lost or it is released and that's why delta h will have a negative value just think about that if we spend some money let's say maybe 10 dollars we are going to write down in the account book minus 10 same way negative enthalpy is the heat which is spent which is given or which is lost now in this process heat is given up by the system so what happens to the surroundings surroundings get hotter and actually exothermic reactions are always favorable now what is endothermic it is exactly opposite to exothermic energy is gained during the process so obviously delta h will be a positive enthalpy what will happen to surroundings surroundings will get colder because heat is gained by the system and the container will actually be feeling cold these figures will make it easier for us to understand exothermic and endothermic reaction so in exothermic reaction if we have chemicals in this flask heat is actually exiting so exit that stands for exothermic and what happens to temperature temperature goes up it increases whereas in case of endothermic heat is getting in the system so heat in is endothermic and what happens to temperature temperature actually goes down for the surroundings all right let's look at the energy diagrams now the energy diagram in this figure they look similar to a hike to mountain top this is the beginning point that is the mountain top and this is the end point the beginning point are reactants the end points will be products and the mountain top is activated complex the way it is shown in the figure now there are new terms along with this energy diagrams activation energy which is the minimum energy which we refer to as hill or mountain then there is activated complex it is the transition state which is formed at the top of the energy barrier then comes activation energy it is energy which is required to bring the reactants to the activated complex so basically it is a difference between the energy of the activated state and energy of reactants it's commonly referred as ea the energy of activation and then comes enthalpy enthalpy is the difference between the energy of products and reactants and we often refer to that as delta h here is one energy diagram let's label and interpret this energy diagram this is the beginning point and we always refer that as reactants that is the end point that will be products and this is the mountain top which is nothing but activated complex so what kind of reaction is this what is the value of enthalpy and what is the energy of activation we need to find out the answers for all of those let's work backwards 
what is the energy of reactants that is 40 so let's write down energy of reactants is 40 kilojoules what is the energy of products that is 20 kilojoules so what is delta h then that will be delta h equals energy for products minus energy for reactants when we subtract that we get a negative value negative 20 kilojoules what is the value for ea that's the energy of activation the beginning value is 40 and we are going to the mountain top which is 100 so ea will be 100 minus the beginning value 40 that will be 60 kilo joules and will this reaction be an exothermic or endothermic if you look at delta h that is negative value if it's a negative value energy is spent lost or reaction will be exothermic now let's practice actually drawing an energy diagram so over here energy for reactants is given to us as 50 energy of products is 75 and that for activated complex is 150 kilojoules let's begin with drawing the axis first so that is the y-axis which is energy in kilojoules and x-axis is progress of reaction let's take some scale that suppose 50 this is suppose 100 and that is 200 so reactants are at 50 kilojoules that will be the beginning for reactants products are at 75 which will be somewhere over here and that will be the products the activated complex is 150 so somewhere from that in the middle of reactants and products we get activated complex and now the diagram will be somewhat like that let's work again backwards to find delta h value energy for products minus energy of reactants is the value for delta h what is the value for energy of products that is 75 what is the value for energy of reactants that is 50 that gives me 25 kilo joules as the value for delta h the next thing is to calculate energy of activation that is the beginning step reactants to the mountain top that means it is the difference between those two values so the value of the activated complex is 150 kilojoules and the beginning value for reactants is 50 that gives you positive 100 kilojoules as the value for ea how about the reaction is it exothermic or endothermic look at delta h that is positive value that means energy is gain and gain of energy is endothermic all right i guess you guys learned about exothermic and endothermic reactions and also about energy diagrams i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you again in next video until then bye bye